components for an exchange, right? Uh, as we saw in the diagram, the first one is the order gateways. It accepts an acknowledgement client's order request. The API, I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but um, fix is, is, is a protocol that is used by almost all exchange and, and a lot of financial companies. It's, it's, called, uh, it's called financial interconnected exchange or something. Actually, I forgot the, 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 what is the spoil originally. And then they also they are, have their own API, some of them. The second component I talked about earlier is the market data feeds. Um, because everybody needs to have real time price. So exchange needs to send the market data out to everybody. And it could be done through either multicast or, or TCP. But the, the, the other major component, of course, is the matching engines, right? That's, that's the gut of an exchange because it, it can track up the buy orders, sell orders, and then it will match the, the, the bids and offers and create transactions. So really, you know, those are the major components. If you go to any exchange, NASDAQ, NYC, BATS, or ICE, they all have this. They, they all have those components. So what are the major technical challenges? The first thing is latency, okay? The, the requirement nowadays uh, for latency is really low. It could be in the low milliseconds or even microseconds. What is latency? Latency is something that, uh, like you submit an order to the exchange through the order gateway, and then how long does it take for the order get to the matching engine and come back to the acknowledgement? And, and why it's so crucial yeah. is because, as I talk about, a lot of trading are done by computers. It's not like you and I. For a human, uh, we cannot detect anything within 200 milliseconds. But for the computer, you know, they, the faster the better. So, so the requirement is, is really high to have low latency. Scalability, right? Um, as you can imagine, like uh, I, I remember last, um, last month, one day, and then I, I, I walked by our trading desk, and people are going nuts. Because that is the day the Dow like dive like um, I don't remember like ten percent. You know, in fifteen minutes, actually it affects all exchange. Like for us, because we we have the Russell two thousand indexes, the trading also goes crazy. Because the thing is that those computers, if there's certain event, all the computers trying to do something, and then it's it's like you know Amazon and. Uh, you know, a few days before Christmas, right? So, scalability is that you need to be able to handle a lot of requests coming in at the same time. And, and a lot of times, we, we can be hit, like, in one second, we can hit by tens of thousands of requests coming in. And, and then we need to respond within microseconds and milliseconds. So, so those are the, the major challenges these days for, for most exchanges. So, so actually we all compete, you know, we, ICE, our main competitor is the Chicago uh, CME group. So we all, you know, compare our numbers. Customer tell us to say, you know, you guys suck. The other guy is better. I'm not going to trade on your platform, you know. So it's the same, that's why when you look at the the, the, the pie chart, like NASDAQ, NYSE, BATS, if, if one of them is too slow, uh, a, lot of com a lot of firms, they, they're not going to trade there. So, so, it's, so it's pretty competitive. Okay, so um, 
I'm not going to get into too much the details like how ICE is doing behind the scene, that sort of thing. Actually, I, I told uh, our CPO, I said, I'm going to do a presentation. And the first reaction from him is that, uh, don't, don't tell any secret sauce, OK? <laughs> and, uh, so I, I promised him, I said, OK, that's fine. I'm going to just talk about something general, like all exchange does. And, and one thing that is used a lot, you know, and some of you could be surprised, is the, the voting pass. And, and, and I don't know how familiar I do with voting pass. Uh, just briefly, you have the TCP, right? Like TCP is the point to point. Like um, uh, one server connect to another server if you need to send the data. So it's point to point. Voting pass is, um, just, it's one to many. Meaning, especially for like market data, just imagine, right? Um, I have this price update. Everybody is interested. I have thousands of customers interested. Bloomberg, Reuters, Goldman Sachs, Citibank, and imagine that all of them like connect to the server. That's lots of connection. That's like thousands of connections, and those connections is not like uh, like a web traffic or something. Just periodically getting the data. They get tons of data. So. The benefit of multicast is that you only need to send one copy and then everybody gets it. Okay, that's a great deal, right? So, multicast actually, some of you might heard of it, is used by some video and, and audio application. But for exchange, uh, we, we, we like it a lot. Like I said, it's it's also lower overhead uh, compared with TCP. I'm not going to get to the detail on that. Scale much better than TCP, and like I said, um, for example, like ICE, actually, we, for market data, we have two fee. We have multicast fee, we have TCP fee. And for the multicast fee, in terms of scalability, we don't need to worry about like 100 more customers. They're trying to get the data. We don't care because we just send one copy, right? But on the TCP fee size, different. One, if we have 100 new customers, they all connect to us. So we, we, we need to you know, do the calculation. We, we probably tell operations say, hey guys, you know, we need to add 10 more servers, something like that. So, so multicast is able to scale a lot better. Um, one thing about Multicast. So, so it sounds like a great deal, right, compared with TCP, but it's not free. The, in terms of multicast is that you, you send this copy, and some guys might not get it. If they don't get it, uh, unlike TCP, TCP, the protocol handle the retransmission. But for, for multicast, you need to have some sort of uh, application level protocol that they need to come back and, and get the message. And that's one thing that's different from financial application and like a audio video technology. Like in, in video application, they use multicast a lot because um, say that I send 10,000 packets to the client, right? If, if you miss like one or two packets, it's okay, maybe this guy like, missed one dot here, but you know, who cares, it's fine. But for financial application, we cannot miss anything, because if you miss something, it's wrong. So that's something we need to handle. 